Hey you guys, how are you today? I feel so far away from you, but it's because I'm going to show you a top knot tutorial and I need the space above here so you guys can see what's going on. So um, my hair is dirty. I previously had braids in it, so that's why I've got this funky little wave, which could probably be cute if I finessed it a little bit, but I just want to pull it up and show you how to do a perfect top knot. So. Um, I think the key to the top knot is to not be too perfect, right? We don't want to look like we're, we're too done. So I'm actually not really going to use a comb while I'm doing this unless I feel like I really have to. So first things first, because my hair is dirty, it already has like a little bit of grip to it. So I don't feel like I really need to put any product in it. If, if you were having clean hair and you wanted to pull it up, you might think about putting um, some dry shampoo or some sort of texture. Now I do have shorter hair so I'd rather my top not be really tall and anything that falls out down here at the bottom I'll actually pin up. So first things first and that's getting a ponytail and because I think I had some previous braids it is looking a little too bumpy in some areas so I am just taking my comb here and kind of just working out a little bit of the bumps. So you kind of have control over how smooth or bumpy. Usually I swear it doesn't take me this long to put my hair in a ponytail, but of course, because I'm making a video, it's taking longer. Okay, so that feels pretty good to me. Um, of course, you want to find kind of the center of your head, obviously. You don't want your top knot to be off base and I'm just securing in a ponytail. So what I like to do after I get to this point is I don't like my ponytails too tight. Mama's got some ears on her, so she's gotta kinda cover those up a little bit, but also just to kinda soften it. So I like to kinda run my fingers through all of the roots just to kind of like loosen it up, and then sometimes I'll pull this and then tighten it, and pull and tighten, and that kinda creates some cute little little bumps and then of course you can kind of play with like pulling down some pieces if you want but I think the key is for everything to be kind of loose. Um, all this fallout back here we'll deal with afterwards. Okay so if you have shorter hair or maybe you have finer hair um, you have a couple options. Um, I'm going to show you guys where I actually am going to add in a little bit of extension hair. Do, 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 just to make my top knot just slightly a little bit bigger. So this has two little clips in it and I'm just going to take that first and slide it in and snap it and then I'm going to take that weft, wrap it around and then slide it in and snap it. So this hair is kind of now surrounding my ponytail just to make it a little bit longer. Um, I am going to add, this is from Orlando Pita. it's called Body Breakthrough Volumizing Boosting Hairspray. So you can use this um, just to kind of give a little bit of volume and hold to the ponytail. So I'm kind of just spraying that in and then kind of just like working my fingers through to kind of work the hairspray in and to just rough it up slightly. And then it's pretty simple. All I'm going to do is just kind of loop it around like this. You can kind of decide how you want it to look. And then you're just going to take a bobby pin and pin it in. So this is where you can play with the size, the shape of your bun and everything. Um, and then you just take your bobby pins and you kind of Think about like a compass, you want to do four corners, so I'm just kind of getting it secure. It definitely doesn't need a lot of bobby pins, but um, no, I'm just putting these two towards the back. We'll do one more. And then you can kind of play with the height, the texture, I always kind of like to I don't like everything too perfect, so I'm kind of just roughing it up, deciding on the shape. You can kind of tug on it a little bit, whatever your heart desires. So that's looking pretty cute. 
for me there. Um, yeah, and then we'll just address this in the back here. So again, I'm going to take my hairspray and give that a little spray just to kind of help it. Okay, so now that I have those pieces sprayed back here, I'm just going to bring them straight up and I'm going to create like a little crisscross in the back of my head. So that is just so that the bobby pins will stay the most secure if you have them coming from both direction. I hope no dentists are watching this because I know it's really bad to open bobby pins with your teeth. But yeah, so just imagine a little X on, the, on your bobby pins to cross over and that way they'll stay secure and also you'll get the hair on both sides to stay up. So once you're done with that, again, you can kind of, I have a mirror over here, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this, but you can kind of just go through, it looks like that section, I missed a piece, so I just need to, I'll smooth that piece up and pin. You can do your final check. Of course, if I wasn't being videoed, I would have my mirror to look at the back of my head to make sure it's all looking okay. But then it's, again, just kind of playing around and pulling pieces down. I think that's kind of the, the modern top knot is to not be so like slicked up like a ballerina. You want some softness and some movement and again, some kind of fun, playful bumps and looseness through it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. The adding the hair is optional. You definitely don't have to. If I wasn't adding hair, I would probably kind of tease and add a little bit more texture to just get it as full but if you do have hair or want to try it with hair I mean it's so easy to get hair these days you can get it on Amazon you could go to Sally Beauty Supply probably even some of the drugstores so it's pretty accessible these days so anyways I hope you guys like the tip and I will see you very soon have a great day bye